In this presentation, we introduce MyNet, our vision for intuitive and secure peer-to-peer -peer social networking, based on current research at the Nokia MIT Lablet in Cambridge, Massachusetts. David is a marketing analyst from Boston. He just bought a new Nokia smartphone. Shortly after he turns on his new device, he is prompted to set a username and PIN for the MyNet system and a customized name for his new phone. This establishes his personal network. David wants to download the video clip of one of his favorite new songs, so he scans for his home WLAN access point and adds it to his home MyNet system. He downloads the video and starts to watch it on his smartphone when he changes his mind and decides to view it on his home PC instead. He pauses the video and taps the desktop's NFC hotspot with his phone. The desktop is added to David's home MyNet system and he can now stream the video clip from his phone to his desktop without downloading it for the second time. Later, David adds his laptop and media server to his home MyNet system as well. David has a marketing proposal due on Monday, and he decides to finish it off at his neighborhood cafe with a hot latte. When he arrives there, he realizes that the latest draft is on his home PC. Not a problem. With MyNet, his laptop can connect to his home PC and access the proposal. In fact, he can connect to any of his personal network devices remotely with a simple click of the mouse. That evening, David is at a bar watching a football game with Matt. Matt is also a MyNet user, but David and Matt's networks have never been introduced. David wants to give Matt access to some music files stored on his home media server, so he selects some of his favorite tunes and taps Matt's PDA. With one simple gesture, Matt and David become MyNet buddies, and Matt has access to David's music files on David's home media server. Later that evening, Matt returns home and turns on his laptop. The MyNet system updates his laptop so he can see his newly added buddy and access the shared music file. This is because in MyNet, permissions are shared between the user's personal networks, not just their devices. David used his phone to give access to content stored on his home media server. Matt was introduced to David's network through his PDA, but can also use his laptop to access the content he was given access to. A week later, David is on vacation. He is expecting his brother John and John's fiance to join him. The two brothers have already given each other permission to browse and get updates about each other's GPS locations. MyNet makes it easy to give permission to someone to access a device, a service such as a MyGPS location, or content for a specified amount of time. It also makes it easy to review, edit, and revoke these permissions at any time. As soon as John lands on the island and turns on his mobile phone, David knows that his brother has arrived. The next day, David and John are taking a diving cruise. John is an avid photographer and shoots several pictures and video clips from the day's adventures. He wants to share some of them with his brother. He drops them in an album for sharing collection and taps his brother's phone to give him access. Once back at the hotel, John connects to the MyNet service provider. He orders a photo album with some of the day's best shots, which he has stored on his camera phone. He will have the album delivered to his parents. We believe there is a great potential for technology that makes it easy for average users to build secure personal and social networks using their mobile devices, to stay connected to their friends and personal devices while on the go, to share access with a simple gesture, and to manage the security of their networks with straightforward decisions. MyNet brings us one step closer to realizing that potential.